Hello everyone, Jeff Rose on Hot Homestead. We're gonna pump some water today. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We've gotten some rain, even though it's not cloud in the sky today, but it's time to do some pumping of the water. I got my tanks here full. They're three one hundred three three they are four three hundred gallon tanks. They just drive me nuts. <laughs> so about 1200 gallons. Let's take a look at what I got. So I don't know if you can really tell because of the glare of the sun, <laughs> but how, what's weird is that's the water level. Right there is the water level. Right there's the water level, right there's the shallow. Right there. It's so, just so happens the sun's the same level as the water. And here, maybe this one's a little bit easier. No, maybe not. Can you see the water level there and the shadow there? Really can't tell, can you? So I guess you're just gonna have to believe me. So the bottom line is my water level is here, which is perfect because my manifold here, oh here we go. Does that make it move at all? Can you see that? A lot of shallow here on a sunny day. So that's, that's water up to about that level there. So this manifold did its job because they're all full. And then just to show you on the other side, you can kind of see right there, that's my overflow. All my overflows, they all go slightly, see how well you can tell. They all go slightly higher than the actual tank itself. And that's just because I want as full as I can get it. I may have to adjust those. They may look like, well, based on this, where am I? Based on this here, I think the overflow is perfect. So let me show you the overflow real quick. See, the overflow is about the same height, but because I bring it up and then down, that's where the water level ends up being right about here-ish. So we got water up to about here. Now I've got it like this on all of them. As you know, I painted it black to keep the sun out. I got a finished painting. You can see it's still white on that side. I ran out of spray paint. These are already open. They're filling this bottom manifold. I actually have two manifolds to help leveling off these tanks. And then they'll go down and they'll go down to the other side. So let's go take a look at that. So here down on the other side, I've got this two inch pipe going into this hose here, which then feeds into this filter. Now this just looks like a pump filter. You know, one of those small above ground pumps. Well, that's exactly what it is. However, I've done some modifications to it. So I've got a two inch pipe that reduces down to an inch and a quarter, just because that fits. This is an inch coming out, and it goes to an inch and a half. I can, I can go no bigger really than this, but because of the way these pipes were, I had to go with that size. And then from there, this pipe's a little long. Then I reduce it down to three quarters of an inch. Because the, uh, the exit is three quarters of an inch. So I can't go, I cannot increase this one because it's not going to do you any good. And, uh, and this one having this as an extra volume leading into it is just fine as long as... That size here is not smaller. Everything is larger than the inlet, so that's perfect. What I did, just so you kind of know on the bottom here, I don't know how well you guys can see with the glare, but I've done, I've stuck a PVC pipe up in there. This is a one inch pipe. So we've done a one inch pipe up inside to glue the tar out of it. 
and all that so uh, what's tough about these hoses is they do what they want so I gotta twist that around so it stands up so let's go ahead I got a prime I got to prime, prime that pump I got plugged into my outlet there in the uh, pump house and let's uh, let's get pumping all right so just the pure pressure of the water has primed it for me see how the water's coming out so that's primed this pump perfectly so I've released that air pocket now here what I've done with this with my main tank here that I got the water going in when I would try to hold this hose into either here or there the pressure would just keep kicking it out so what I did basically was I just this is two inch so I went with a two inch threaded elbow came down and got into this gator lock as the brand is called, just a cam lock. And then I drilled a hole in here, a one inch hole, and I put the uh, a, a standard thread with a hose deal here, so that a hose thread here and a standard thread there, just screw that in, I couldn't get it in any further. But I got that, and then I put these quick connects, just to make it a little easier, a little faster. Plus I can put plugs on these to keep the dust, the dirt out. And then here's my holes going into it. You can tell that there's a small little tiny leak there, but man, that's nothing when you're pumping 1,200 gallons. So let's get up in here and see if we can see the water flowing. So there you go. It's flowing. That's three quarter inch pipe. As you can see, gee, I'm almost full already. So this thousand gallons of water will probably bring it right up to that next level there. That, that guy right there, that overhang. And that's about 5,000 gallons. I don't know the rate this is, but I'll tell you at the end of this video how long it took me with that little pump. Looking good, buddy. I have treated this with hydrogen peroxide. I'll do a video on that as well. Looks like a waterfall. <laughs> Free water, thank you, good lord. And we are full. Didn't quite go up to the inlet, but we have 5,000 gallons of water. We're set for the winter. Yay! I'm standing in the shade, still pretty sunny, out. not a cloud in the sky. But my water tank, she's full as you just saw. All rain catchment over just really just a few storms. So hydrogen peroxide, keep it clean. I'll treat it from time to time with hydrogen peroxide. So this has been Jeff Arizona Hat Homestead. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you, bye, have fun. Woohoo!